system designed uh, and built by Eric Forsyth in New York while he worked at Brookhaven. Um, here's the dinette area. Um, this dinette, uh, is, how does that work? <laughs> this, this edge of the dinette flips up like that. Uh, but normally he has it down and it clips right there. Uh, uh, on this Westell 42, he sort of uh, built out this area so he has these shelves here and little lockers here uh, for things that he uh, he he needs when he's uh, you know in the cockpit. Like there are his uh, en courtesy flag ensigns, um, binoculars, all of the all of the flashlight stro uh, flashlights and spotlights are in there. Um, and then uh, there's the log book and uh, and chart guides um, here he's got the uh, he's got the um, EPIRB right by the companionway um, just one thing that's really interesting is the location of the wind speed indicator up there on the inside of the companionway it's nice when you're in heavy wind and the boats stirring by itself and you're spending most of your time down below to, to be able to see the wind speed from right there. Um, here he's got a tank tender fuel and water tank gauge which uh, I've seen for the first time. It actually works really well. You, uh, you, hit the, you select your tank and then you, you pump it up and, uh, and it tells you how many inches of, uh, of diesel or water are in the selected tank. Um, you then uh, look that number of inches up on a chart to translate it to how many gallons you have. He keeps his uh, companionway hatchboards here behind the dinette seat. So it's a good place. I don't know why I didn't think of it. Um, then he's got this locker behind behind the dinette seat. Let's zoom out a little bit there, uh, where he's got preventer lines um, and uh, uh, other lines. Right there. Uh, of course, he's got storage back there and back there and uh, and underneath the dinette seat and then back there as well. Um, just like all the Westell 42s. Um, <laughs> this is kind of interesting. He has he has these little lockers right here um, that that kind of double as like arm rests. Um, but he's got in these lockers the tools that he needs uh, most often you know wrenches screwdrivers vice grips stuff like that um, they're always very accessible and uh, I think they kind of resemble the uh, armrests on the uh, captain's chair on, on Star Trek uh, Enterprise uh, tape and other things like that um, kinda cool here are the companionway steps. Uh, the bottom step has some storage in it, um, uh, but uh, the rest of them don't because that's where the refrigeration compressor is. Also right here, that's a vent for, uh, for a cabin heater that's uh, hydronic and running off of engine coolant heat. Um, unlike other Westell 42s that usually have the sink here. Uh, he's got the refrigeration here. He's got a refrigeration side and a freezer side. And he normally keeps his cockpit cushion here because he's off, often sitting there. <laughs> um, uh, and on most West Hill 42s they normally have the the, um, the refrigeration here. This is where he puts the, uh, the sink. Uh, with some storage underneath it. He keeps the trash in a little bag right there all the time. Um, you got the uh, Little dish rack there. Um, uh, two faucets. One is electric pump salt water, and the other is foot pump fresh water. Salt water for washing dishes when we're at sea. Um, he's got a propane stove, uh, storage under the stove. This is very unique. Um, this is a gimbaled uh, countertop, and when I first thought saw that, I thought that's silly, um, but. Uh, in reality, uh, underway, it's unbelievable. You can, you know, you can, you can take your your bowl or your mug or your plate or whatever, 
and uh, when the boat's like rolling in big seas and uh, and you can pour your milk in it and your cereal or whatever um, and uh, and it, it just stays it stays perfectly level all the time actually a pretty amazing thing the stove isn't gimbaled but it has this large railing around it uh, so he's got drawer here for silverware tea, that's all labeled teaspoons knives forks tablespoons etc um, and then uh, another locker right here uh, he keeps all the pots and pans here and all of the tupperware here um, yeah a lot a lot of well thought out storage all of the plates and bowls and mugs and glasses that are that are uh, used all the time are right here uh, very conveniently located um, when when we're sailing uh, you know every crew gets their own mug and they use only that mug all the time um, it really helps with dishes um, here's a salon uh, starboard uh, salon with a lee cloth right here um, lots of storage in these lockers here uh, the storage is used for crew um, then he's got a pilot berth here, which I don't think he ever uses as a pilot berth, but rather as storage for uh, all the rum. Um, um, and over on the port side, uh, very similar kind of deal. We got the settee with the lee cloth. We got uh, we got a little seat here with storage underneath it. We've got these big lockers up here. Uh, I have a bookcase on my boat, but here he has storage for food. These big lockers. And uh, another big locker right here for crew. A little footstep, uh, I'm sorry, a uh, little area for your feet to go in there when you're uh, in the berth. Here he's got a big uh, hanging locker. Um, I've seen that on other West L 42s as well in that location. Uh, but interesting over here, I've not seen this before. He's actually got this all as locker space as well. Um, you know, he's built a separate bulkhead and uh, um, for to make these uh, make these lockers a little bookcase up top. Okay, going into the forward head, uh, a little foot sink there, storage, storage, anchor, uh, chain, and sail locker. Um, and then on the port side here, he, that's where he keeps his outboard. Um, Holding tanks behind here, storage, uh, storage over there too. He's got this netting for uh, apples and and uh, potatoes and stuff. And then uh, he's got this grate down here, um, so you can uh, theoretically shower in here. And it all just goes down into this enclosed uh, bilge area where he's got a bilge pump. Um, forward head. All right, here's the head. Here's the, uh, the compression post. He bent this compression post uh, in a storm um, and then replaced it. When he took the old one out, he saw that it was Schedule 10 pipe and he replaced it with a uh, Schedule 40 pipe with uh, Schedule 40, uh, Schedule 40 or Schedule 80, I can't remember. Um, but um, the walls of this pipe are a quarter of an inch thick. Um, Interestingly, he's got this uh, this compass down here. Uh, nice location for it. All right, let's see what else can I show you. Uh, fire extinguisher, electrical pallet panel with an amp meter uh, right there. Um, here is uh, the passageway leading to the aft cabin, which he uses. Uh, for his uh, computers and single sideband, AIS receiver, VHF, um, and uh, he's got a couple of GPS's down there. Um, there he's got uh, storage for charts, um, pencil holder, and then a flip down seat right there. Also interestingly, he's got this, uh, he's got this port there to get light in here. That's great. Uh, the, passageway without that port can be uh, really dark like it is on my boat so it's another thing I'm gonna do is add a port there that's a great idea okay going into the aft cabin uh, 
One kind of cool thing is that he's uh, he's got these two posts, and these two stainless posts here. Um, he said that that was uh, really important at one point where the the boat uh, the boat um, rolled over on its side, got hit by a big wave uh, that hit the aft cabin, and he suspects that if these pipes, if these posts weren't here, the uh, the aft cabin deck might have crushed, or the cabin top might have crushed. Um, right over here, you can see uh, where he's added that uh, that pipe, or uh, yeah, that pipe for the um, the emergency tiller. Uh, standard layout uh, berth on each side of the aft cabin. Uh, so this is um, Eric's Eric's room. <laughs> um, here. He's got a counter with storage underneath it and a scuba tank over there. Interestingly, uh, in most West Cell 42s, they've got a sink there uh, with all of its associated plumbing underneath. Um, but on Fiona, he put uh, the sink there in the aft head, which is great because not only is it in the aft head with the head like it should be, um, uh, but it, it uh, gets all the plumbing out of this area, so you have much more storage. Uh, um, and Paragon, I was thinking of actually uh, making this into a, si a sitting area. Um, uh, what else? He's got storage back there. I kind of like how this locker opens up with the hin hinges on the bottom instead of two double doors like what I have right now. Uh, and now... Going into the engine room, where you probably can't see anything because it's so dark and I don't know how to turn on the light. So I'll go figure that out and I'll be back.